in the fourth innovation series that focused on funding infrastructure more affordably and sustainably, it was clear that there is so much to grapple with in terms of challenges. Bus transport is clearly affordable. Then that can be followed by rail transport. It could be light rail, it could be underground, MRT. But those modes are too expensive for us at the moment. So we are trying to experiment with buses. But remember, we are doing all this when there are already operators on the road. So what do you do with them? That's a big question. They derive their entire livelihood from plying these matatus back and forth and border borders. Okay? So if you're bringing a new system on board, how are you taking care of them? And I think that is the bigger question. We have advertised for provision of bus services in the city three times, and we are not able to get someone who can invest in public transport within the current conditions. But there were propositions towards the solutions too. So one of the first things to do is to think about, is that money something that the government is going to fund, or do they not have money on the budget? If there isn't money on the budget, who could actually provide that money? And if it's going to be the private sector, it has to have an income stream. And that's where public-private partnerships come in, or just private finance. But if it's going to be private finance, you have to get the environment right for the private sector to invest. Um, and so donor programs like myself, we can do certain things. We can do early stage identification of high potential projects. We can get rid of some of the projects that just have no chance of flying at the beginning. Um, we can mobilize investment. We can bring in different multilateral development banks, grant funders where they give gifts of, of money so they don't expect any repayment, or commercial funders, and we can bring them together and structure those deals. And then we can help with some of those softer things, so softer regulatory um, support to, to government, for instance, to make that enabling environment right. Big on the table for Kampala City is the congestion fee, which, however, requires a number of policy and financial decisions to be made by government to see to it that things like buses operate and commuter taxis are kept out of the city. Eroni Kamkama, NTV Business.